So in this example, uh, we're given that the average heights of teenage girls are normally distributed with a mean of 157 centimeters and a standard deviation of 7 centimeters. The question is, what is the probability that a teenage girl's height is greater than uh, 170 centimeters? So now we can calculate the z-score very easily. And so our data value is 170 minus the mean, which is 157 divided by seven. So this is equal to 13 over seven, which which corresponds to the z-score of 1.857. Now, Now, if we go to Excel, we can uh, so we can do this calculation using Excel by doing equals norm this, and our value was one uh, seventy. The mean was one fifty seven. Standard deviation was seven, and we put in true. Now, what this means is that this data value is in the 96.8 percentile. So if we go back here, this is then the 98 point and 96.8, I should say. So the 96.8 percentile Now, we're asked what's the probability then that x is greater than 170? Well, if 170 is the 96.8 percentile, then the probability that a teenage girl's height is going to be greater than that will be 1 minus 0 decimal 968 which is approximately equal to, because we've rounded this number, 3.2%. Uh, so the probability that a teenage girl has a height greater than 170 centimeters will be 3.2%. Now, the next question, we want to know what range of heights would occur 90% of the time. So if we consider the normal curve, right? we want to know what the middle 90% is. So we want to look at the 95th percentile and the 5th percentile because we want to know what, when we say what range of heights will occur 90% of the time, we want the middle 90. We don't want to take one end or the other in this case. So what we're going to do then is take our z-score formula. And if we solve for x in this case, or a data value, well, this is going to be then um, x minus x bar is equal to z times the standard deviation. So in other words, all I've done is multiply both sides here by the standard deviation. And standard deviation will count cancel it on this side, and we're left with z times the standard deviation. So now what I'm going to do is add x bar to both sides. So this is x minus, sorry, x is equal to, if we add x bar to both sides to isolate x, then we get x bar plus z times the standard deviation. So what we need to know is the z-score, we know the uh, mean, we know the standard deviation. So we want to know what the um, z-score is for the 95th percentile and the 5th percentile. Because then we could sub in and find what value 
would correspond to that z score. So if we go to our z score table, now if we look for the fifth percentile, so here is negative 1.6, and we go across, and you'll notice that negative 1.6. Um, 4 is the 5.05 percentile and negative 6.65 is the 4.95 percentile. So it's going to be halfway between these two. So we can say that the a Z score of negative 6.45 will correspond to the fifth percentile. So for the fifth percentile, the z-score is equal to negative 1.6, negative 1.645. And if we look at the 95th percentile in our table, and hopefully this makes sense to you, we go down, we find the 95th percentile, is going to be halfway between. Get up so you can see the top. Okay, so here is 1.64, and here's 1.64. Uh, sorry, 1.65. And you'll notice that the 95th percentile lies right in the middle of these two. So we can say that the 95th percentile is going to have a Z score of 1.645. And this is gonna, you're gonna see something similar to this when we look at confidence intervals in the uh, upcoming lesson. But right now, if we sub in, and I'm gonna sub in for, to find the um, positive, well, this is going to be then mean is 157 plus or minus, because in one case we're, uh, we have a negative uh, Z score and a positive Z score. And it's going to be then 1.645 as our Z score times our standard deviation, which is seven. Now, when we do this, so 157 plus. 1.645 times 7 comes out to be 168.5 approximately. And Hundred and fifty seven minus one point six four five. So this would give us our, our lower end would be one hundred and forty five point five. So the range then that contains the middle ninety percent of the data will be one hundred and 45.5 centimeters to 168.5 centimeters. So 95, sorry, 90 percent of the data will be contained within this range if the data is normally distributed.